I said it once, and I'll say it again. It's been an interesting month. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who expressed support for me on my last video. I was honestly not expecting people to actually see it, let alone be so supportive. So now that I have a little bit of an audience, I just want to show my appreciation. By starting up a merch line and letting you know about my sponsor, Ridge Shadow Sh Anyway, uh, between keeping a full-time job, raising a newborn child, and keeping the wife happy while still carving out time for this game, I don't plan on putting out dev updates every single week, since they take precious time to produce. But the news in the gaming industry has been so interesting lately that I can't not hop on the bandwagon and discuss how it'll affect my plans working on Project Record Keeper in the long term. For those not aware of what's going on, first Unity had their whole pricing debacle, which I talked about last time. And now Epic, who makes the Unreal Engine in Fortnite, laid off 16% of their employees, that's over 800 people, and are more or less on maintenance mode as a company. The timing of this feels a little deliberate. Uh, maybe they decided to rip the band-aid off now, while attention has mostly been focused on Unity and avoid sparking a ton of controversy? It, it seems like that's working? It's hard to say, they just made the announcement. If you're interested in the details, I'll link the open letter in the description, but it isn't super relevant to what I'm hoping to talk over with y'all. I just hope everyone leaving can land on their feet and that the Unreal community isn't hit too hard by this blow. Now, the real heart of today's video involves Godot's open proposal to overhaul their support for C Sharp, to bring it up to par with their native language, GDScript. I've hopped on there and made a few comments myself, and I have to say, in comparison to Unity's communication struggles recently, the Godot devs are succinct, considerate, and open to planning for what their community asks. But what I'd really like to see is some of the developers from Unreal hop over to support Godot's attempt to kick Unity into C Sharp. But I don't know how likely that is given Godot's free forever open source nature, so I guess it'll just live in my daydreams for now. Anyway, I'm not really a news channel. I just wanted to cover this so I could talk about how it would affect my game. So last week, I announced that I'd be moving over from Unity to Godot, and bringing over the art, ideas, general gameplay, and world building I've invested into creating. So far, I've plotted out a much needed revision to my game's core narrative over on Lucidchart, and I'm relying on some good writer friends of mine to give me feedback on it. My lead story consultant and her assistant have already given some good feedback and liked the overall direction. I've also jumped into Godot and started writing out the basics for my player character in GD Script. However, with the possibility of better C Sharp looming on the horizon, and the possibility of recovering some of my Unity code on the table, I know I need to tread carefully before getting too far into Godot. This is actually perfect for where I am right now. You see, the uncertainty still in the air with GD Script versus C Sharp is going to force me to go with a design first and a prototype first approach, which is something the game really needs right now. With the assumption that nothing I build out in Engine is permanent for the moment, it frees me up to play around with ideas and feel out design considerations for the new mechanics I'm hoping to work in. While I'm familiarizing myself with the design constraints I'm working under and making a few quick levels in Engine, I can continue refining the story and start roughing out a roadmap. Then when I have a bunch of level ideas designed around what I've prototyped, a well plotted out story, and a nice solid plan of what I'm actually building, I can revisit the question of which language to move forward in. If GDScript turns out to be the way to go, I can keep what I've already written, clean it up, and move forward. If C Sharp is a better alternative, all the better. I can invest time in recovering the tools I wrote in my old Unity project. It's a win-win. Both pads have clear advantages that I can capitalize on to make my game better long term, and both pads get me excited just thinking about them. You know, it's kind of ironic. Even though I have two completely different paths that I could take, and even with the industry in total disarray, I feel confident moving forward. And you know what? I think that's at least in part because of you guys and your support. Thank you so much for being here and giving me the time of day to listen to my story. So that's where I'm at. What do you all think? Am I crazy for starting a new implementation of my game, or do you think I'm making the right call? Should I go with Godot's native GD script language, or should I go for C Sharp again? And what do you think about everything that's gone on recently in the industry? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like I said earlier, I don't really plan on doing weekly updates. It's probably not realistic for my schedule, so I'll target something more like a monthly update. Though, if you're interested in tracking progress more closely, or giving feedback when the time comes, head on over to my Discord channel. I'll link that in the description. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you want more updates on my game, Project Record Keeper, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again, y'all. Until next time. <laughs>